It's alive! It's alive! What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, John, from the Jersey Shore, and I'm here to talk to you today about the classic 1931 film that started it all, Frankenstein. Frankenstein was directed by James Whale, and it starred Boris Karloff as Frankenstein's monster and Colin Clive as Dr. Frankenstein. If you're already a subscriber to my channel, welcome back. It's good to see you again. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. Get that out of the way now. All right, let's get into it. Frankenstein, 1931. This is one of the six original Universal Monster movies. You had Frankenstein, Dracula, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, and The Wolfman. These were the movies that I grew up on. I remember being a little boy laying on my mom and dad's floor watching the Creature Double Feature on Channel 29 or 57. I think it was 29 when I was growing up. And I loved these movies. I lived for them. Those, I'm sure, are what laid the foundation of me becoming a horror movie fan. I have no doubt about it. That's what it's got to be. Of those six movies, the one that I gravitated towards was Frankenstein. I've always liked Frankenstein. I've just always thought that he was one of the coolest looking monsters ever. All right, so what's the movie about? The movie is about Dr. Henry Frankenstein. Him and his assistant, Igor, decide it would be a good idea to create their own human using body parts from several different sources from different bodies they're basically grave robbers they're going out and they're taking they're digging up bodies they're taking those body parts and you see in the movie you see his hands have been sewn on you can see that the, uh, his head has been you know he's got bolts in his neck uh, so the last piece to the puzzle that they need to create this body is a brain so what they do is they go and actually steal a brain and uh, as luck would have it that brain came out of a criminal. So it turns out that the brain that they stuck inside of their creation is a deviant brain filled with bad intentions. So their intention is they have him, you know, they're raising him up. They're up in a castle. They're raising him up in the castle uh, to the top of the castle. And their intention is to bring him to life by way of lightning strike through electricity. They're going to try and shock him back to life, uh, much like they would do with uh, I don't, the paddles. I don't remember. Defibrillator. They're going to try and bring him back to life, jumpstart his heart, jumpstart his brain, and now they have created their own human being. So needless to say, things do not go according to plan. The monster gets out. Everybody calls him Frankenstein. He's actually Frankenstein's monster. He gets loose. He causes problems. Things go wrong, and it just does not end well for anybody involved. Hey, look, I'm trying not to give too many things away, although I'm assuming that if you're of my generation anyway, that you have seen this movie if you're my age or older, you've probably seen it. I know my generation of horror movie fans, we watched the Saturday Creature Double Feature. And if you watch Creature Double Feature, you have seen Frankenstein. But for those of you out there who have not seen Frankenstein, I'm trying to do my best not to give too much of this movie away. All of the original Universal Monster movies are great. They're classics. I love them. But if there's one that I would suggest you watch, it's the original 1931 Frankenstein. It's fantastic. Boris Karloff as the monster was amazing in this movie. He was very convincing. Every it, It's very overacted, as everything in 1931 was. But the job that he did in that movie is legendary. I just think it was outstanding. The makeup on Frankenstein, on the monster, um, was top-notch. Granted, it was in black and white. Granted, a lot of it's washed out. But, you know, the monster has a flat head and bolts in his neck. And you, it, it looks flawless. It almost looks real, especially, you know, considering it's 1931. This is top-notch stuff. The movie sets were even cool in this. Uh, there are certain scenes in there that you can clearly tell that there's a backdrop, that there it's some sort of a curtain. But most of the movie takes place in a castle. The, the, the castle looks really, really cool. Then there, um, there are scenes that towards the end of the movie with a giant windmill. Just the whole thing looks great. You, you're inside of the windmill. You're outside of the windmill. There's obviously very real fire that takes place in the movie. It's just it's just really, really well made. And I think today's standards, I still think it's a great movie. I think it still holds up. I, I, I Granted, I'm biased. I've loved Frankenstein my whole life. 
But I think, especially when you consider the fact that this movie was made in 1931, it's just such a, a fantastic movie. It brings back a lot of memories for me from my childhood. You know, I, I just, I cannot recommend this movie high enough to anybody who considers themselves a horror movie fan. This is back in the day. This is where it all started, was back with these movies, these original uh, Universal Monsters. And Frankenstein simply is my favorite. I own this movie a couple times. I actually bought this movie on Blu-ray. I don't know that I gained anything by having this movie on Blu-ray. It was shot in black and white in 1931. So I don't know that this, I just watched this not very long ago. And I don't think that this copy looks any different than this copy, which is not a Blu-ray. This one actually has the whole entire Frankenstein collection in it. It's the uh, Universal Legacy Collection. Very cool. I've owned this for a lot of years. All right. So I know that this was a very biased opinion of a very old movie, but what can I say? I love Frankenstein. I'm telling you, as a horror movie fan, watch Frankenstein. It's only an hour and ten minutes long. You can certainly set aside an hour and ten minutes to watch one of the monsters that started it all. Frankenstein has had a huge impact on popular culture and society. You know, you don't even realize it probably. When people say that someone created the monster, especially the young generation, when somebody says that you've created the monster, that's Frankenstein. That's where that came from. That's where that saying came from. When people talk about the angry villagers or the village is angry, something like that, that's from Frankenstein. Those, the angry villagers is from Frankenstein, 1931. So, you know, you don't even realize the, the impact that this has had on our society. People make references to Frankenstein all the time, and they don't even know it. So, I again, I know I'm very biased, and I know that I love Frankenstein, but I watch Frankenstein. You won't regret it. It's a great movie. I love you, Frankenstein. All right, folks, that's going to do it for my review of Frankenstein. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like the video, subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to go on this journey with me. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day, and thank you for watching.